Hello everyone, and what I want to show you is um, a little change that's been done on YouTube. A lot of times I've taught students to go to YouTube, then go to upload, and then they can do a webcam capture, which was pretty cool because students could do a uh, little recording of themselves and then post it on YouTube and then share it with uh, other students or put in a uh, Google Slide, something cool, using the webcam capture tool. But if students go here and hit record, what they'll notice is they can still record, but this service will no longer be available after January 16th. In fact, the, the past couple times that I've tried to do a recording, it will record, and then it just never quite uploads itself to YouTube. So I've been having students do this a little differently lately. What I've had them do is go to a website called ClipChamp. ClipChamp will allow them to do webcam capture. Uh, it's free. The Kind of trick is that it's only allowed a five minute video. So they can't do anything more than five minutes, which normally I don't want students to talk more than that because either one, I would have to listen to all of it, um, which that would take a lot more time, or two, if they can't get it seven, five minutes, um, this probably is not the means of communication they should be using. So if they go to ClipChamp, all they have to do is hit record uh, a video. You may have to enable the webcam. Uh, if you're on a Chromebook, you'll see it pop up up here. Otherwise, you can see I already have mine enabled, so you can see me. You can see there's a start recording button. Uh, also, during the video, they can hit spacebar to pause the recording, which is kind of nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they can hit spacebar to pause it. Uh, also, down here at the bottom, note they can click 480p, and they can actually change that to different methods. They could do like a 720 or 480 or 360. There are different recordings uh, that can be done. So once they hit start, it's going to start recording instantaneous. I'm just going to do a, a quick little recording because I don't want it to um, take too much time processing because it has to process the video after I uh, tell it to finish. So I'll hit start. It gives me a little countdown. I can see the recording has started and down at the bottom, the timer is going. So if I hit finish recording, what it's going to do then, it's actually going to process the video. Um, this can normally sometimes go really quick and sometimes it takes a little bit of time. It just kind of seems like on uh, clip champs end, how fast it goes. Normally it's pretty fast. Um, but I've had times where sometimes it takes a little longer. So you just have to kind of deal with that. Uh, but normally it's, it's pretty good. Students have actually had a lot more success than I've had. But once the processing's done, it brings you to the screen. You can do a couple things here at this point. There is a share video section. Um, where you could share it straight to YouTube. Honestly, I, I haven't been able to get that to totally work for me. So I don't know if it's just me or what, but I kind of stay away from this. Instead, what I have students do is I tell them to hit save to computer. And if they're on a Chromebook, they'll see my drive is listed right over here. So they can click my drive and then I can just save it straight in there. So let's call this clip champ. And I'll hit save. One thing I've noticed is the download to Google Drive is like instantaneous. So I'm not exactly sure if ClipChamp actually is kind of already working with Google and it's storing out there or what, but it's, it's really quick. Now what a student had to do is once they have their recording saved in Google Drive, they can go to YouTube. They can then hit upload. And there's all the wonderful weird things popping up on my YouTube channel. I'll hit upload. Students then can select whatever the appropriate um, privacy setting they want. I'm just going to mark this unlisted for right now. I'll hit upload. I want to upload this from my drive. And this should be one of the top ones. There's the ClipChamp video. And then it's going to upload it right away for me. Um, it was a short video, so obviously the upload didn't take so long. The processing will take a little bit of time, though. I can get whatever settings I want, and then I'm done. So there is a little alternative to the webcam capture tool from YouTube that will be disabled on January 16th. But using uh, ClipChamp, you can still get the same thing done with pretty much the same results. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.